Well, welcome to our uh, reflection on chapter two of Fratelli Tutti. The Holy Father shares with us this chapter of Fratelli Tutti as a reflection on the parable of the Good Samaritan. He recalls this parable to help us apply the core principles of the church's social tradition to how we personally behave towards the people around us and to give us a program for how to move forward in our world. The parable of the Good Samaritan is quite simple and you can find it in the Gospel of Luke, chapter 10, verses 25 to 37. And it tells a story of a man beaten and robbed and left by the side of the road. A priest passes and a Levite and neither of them help him. But when a Samaritan, an outcast, takes pity on him and shows him mercy by caring for him. Pope Francis reminds us of this parable to show us how to act in accord with some core principles of the church's social teaching, especially the dignity of the human person, the principle of solidarity and the principle of subsidiarity. In the first chapter of Fratelli Tutti, Pope Francis lays out the plight of poverty in the modern world and the situations and mechanisms which continue to beat down the most vulnerable in our society. It's clear from his thinking and from our own awareness and experience that the fundamental dignity of the most vulnerable is not being upheld. The poor are increasingly marginalised. The elderly and the unborn are discarded. And popular discourse has been reduced to factional infighting to the detriment of the people that politicians are elected to serve. But in this second chapter, he sees these issues of human dignity as symptoms emerging from a lack of solidarity. He says that we often wall ourselves off, whether consciously by our choices or unconsciously by the choices made for us by the modern means of manipulation. We wall ourselves off from the suffering of those in our communities, and we therefore excuse ourselves from helping and caring, just as the Levite and the priest had excuses to move on from the suffering of the man on the road. There are many ways we create walls to hide the sufferings of others and preserve our own peace. Maybe the suffering of others just isn't visible to us and we don't exactly go looking for it. Maybe suffering itself that we find intimidates us by its complexity and difficulty. Perhaps we feel overwhelmed by our own troubles and are afraid to find ourselves helpless in front of another person. Whatever the reason, whether the excuse is of our own making or is real and genuine, Pope Francis encourages us to make plans and to bring help where it is needed. Be attentive to the needs of your own community, your own neighbours, your own family. Where problems seem too large, then get help. And together, as communities of love, we can heal the suffering even in those who before seemed beyond our help. And this brings us to Pope Francis' other point, which is about subsidiarity, the other key principle of the church's social teaching, which is about how we help, how we care for those around us. Subsidiarity is about starting local, starting small, and bringing larger forces to bear when problems we face are beyond our own power. Similarly, we must resist the desire to launch moralistic political movements to solve problems we could easily solve on a more local personal level. Otherwise, we risk becoming like the passers-by to the robbed man on the road, who mean well, but equally, do just as little as those who ignore him. Nonetheless, 
Pope Francis reminds us that our political and economic decisions are supposed to serve the needs of the people rather than the people serve the needs of political and economic machines. And we should do everything possible to reverse the, that current trend, which makes the vulnerable subservient to those political and economic interests. Making local, personal and concrete steps towards relieving the sufferings of those around us is the mission of the church and the social the church's social and moral teaching in practice not some vague political agenda but you and i making plans to help the vulnerable in our communities as pope francis realizes nobody will do this for us it is nobody's job to care for the downtrodden just as this is as just as it wasn't for the man robbed on the road. It is up to us with hearts filled with love and faith.